Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Lizzie. Today we are going to prepare achu. Achu is a very delicious delicacy from the northwest region of Cameroon. So yeah, I hope we're going to have fun while cooking this. Without taking much of your time, let me take you to the ingredients. So yeah, these are the ingredients we are going to use to prepare. Here we have cocoa. There are two types of cocoa. You have the long shaped cocoa and the round shape. This is called, this is, oh sorry, this is used for um, achu to prepare the fufu. Yeah, so make sure you have this when you want to prepare the, the achu. Okay, so now we have our magi, the seasoning cubes. You have akangwa. Um, which is called limestone and there's niki in this case you can use either of them or you can use both but yeah we are going to use both of them there is a palm oil there is meat and um, cow skin kanda yeah it's already washed we have a salt we have the spices there are uh, a combination of spices so they just blend and sell in the market so yeah that's the spices for the achu that we're going to use uh, we have pepper we have our garden egg commonly called jagatu that we're going to use to eat the achu with and there's a vegetable so yeah we have the vegetable huckleberry that we're going to use to accompany the achu with so delicious guys so there is some um, banana the baby banana we're going to use it together with the cocoa to make our fufu so let's get started i already washed our meat it's seasoned already with salt maggi and pepper so we're going to cook this until it becomes tender i already peeled our cocoa yam so i'm going to boil it together with the banana and our garden egg this is our Niki. I placed it in warm water for it to dissolve. And that is the remaining Niki in the plastic. I put about two and a half spoons of Niki. And now I'm going to add half of the limestone I showed you at the beginning for it to dissolve. And when it is well dissolved, I'm going to strain it, take out the particles and use the water to prepare our yellow soup. Now our meat is ready 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 so i'm going to strain it now and take out the, the the stock to prepare our soup you don't want your stock to be too hot to prepare the soup it should be warm so yeah that's it our kokoyam is cooking with the plantain while this is cooking we are going to put our palm oil on the fire for it to warm for about 30 seconds you don't want your palm oil to be too hot guys let it be warm for like 30 seconds and we are good to go if it is too hot your soup might not come out well so just make sure it is warm so we're going to warm it for 30 seconds yeah that is the the palm oil it is hot or warm it has been there for 30 seconds so i'm going to put it into my dish that's the palm oil in the dish wow i can't wait guys and now this is the niki and the limestone that i have already sieved take out all the the, the chaff so i'm going to put it now into the palm oil you see the bubbles guys yeah that is how it is supposed to be so now i stir it keep stirring and stirring you don't want to allow it like that so you keep stirring mm -mm 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 -mm. while this is while i'm done with that now this is our stock what i'm going to do now is to add the spices the actual spices into the stock and stir why i'm doing this separately is because i want to avoid lumps into the soup see that i make sure i dissolve all the lumps into the stock look at that guys it's smooth right now so so smooth mm -mm -mm. i'm already getting the aroma it's epic 
So now I'm going to take the palm oil and mix it with the stock. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. At this point, you can taste it if the seasoning is okay for you. If it's not okay, you can add some of the maggi or the salt, but mine was totally okay. To make sure it blends very well, I'm going to put into my blender and blend. Mm. Our acho soup is ready, guys. Look at that. Smooth. OMG. It's ready. Simple, right? Now it's time for us to make our fufu. So we're going to start pounding the bananas first. Then take it out. Continue with the cocoa yam. And join them together again and pound. So yeah, if you have a mortar, good. If you don't have, you can use a food processor to blend. This is the most difficult part about this meal, guys. You have to pound and pound. OMG. <laughs> ah. Well, you have to pound the banana and make sure that it doesn't have any lump in it. It has to be soft and smooth. I wish I had a food processor, guys. <laughs> so the banana is ready and soft, so I'll take it out. Now it's time to pound the cocoyam. You have to be patient, guys, as I earlier said, in order to avoid lumps. So yeah, you pound it little by little. Look at that. This is not easy, oh guys. I'm done with the cocoa yam. Now I'm going to um, add the banana and the cocoa yam together and pound until it becomes smooth and soft. Our food is ready, guys. Actually, it's ready. As you can see, I mixed my meat inside the soup, but I didn't put all the meat into the soup. If you want to completely separate your meat from the soup, that's okay by you. It's fine totally. So, yeah, that's our fufu. Everything is set, guys. So, let's serve. I can't wait to devour this. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Thank you all so much.